I didn't know this many people in town. I made it clear to the Israelis that um, to Bibi and to his war cabinet that I think the only ultimate answer here is a two-state solution that's real. We got to get to the point where there is an ability to be able to even talk without worrying about whether or not we're just dealing with uh, they're dealing with Hamas that's going to engage in the same activities they did over the past uh, on, on the seventh. So it, it's uh, but I can't tell. I'm not a fortune teller. I can't tell you how long it's going to last. But I can tell you, I don't think it ultimately ends until there's a two-state solution. I made it clear to the Israelis. I think it's a big mistake to, for them to think they're going to occupy Gaza and maintain Gaza. I don't think that works. Well, holy God, I wouldn't have called on you if I'd known that. No, I'm teasing. Go ahead, fire right. Um, with regard to uh, when is this going to stop? I think it's going to stop when the uh, when Hamas no longer maintains the capacity to murder and abuse and and uh, and just do horrific things to uh, the Israelis, and they're in, and they still think that at least as of this morning they still thought they could. I. Uh, You have a circumstance where the first war crime is being committed by Hamas by having their headquarters, their military, hidden under a hospital. And that's a fact. That's what's happened. Israel did not go in with a large number of troops, did not raid, did not rush everything down. They've gone in, and they've gone in with their soldiers carrying weapons, their guns. When Hamas, Hamas said they plan on doing the same thing again, with what they did what they did on the 7th. They're going to go in. They want to slaughter Israelis. They want to do it again. They've said it out loud. They're not kidding about it. They're not backing off. And so I just uh, asked a rhetorical question. I wonder what we would do if that were the case. On the hostages, though, you said we're coming for you. What do you mean to the American hostages when you said, hey, we're coming for you? What I meant was I'm doing everything in my power to get you out coming to help you, to get you out. I don't mean sending military in to get them. Is, is, is that what you thought I might mean? No, no, no. It, it, I was not talking about the military. I was talking about we, you're on our mind every single day, five, six times a day. I'm working on how I can be helpful in getting the hostages released and have a period of time where there's a pause long enough to let that happen. And there's somewhere between 50 and 100 hostages there, uh, we think. And sir, was a three-year-old American child? You're darn right it is. That's why I'm not going to stop till we get her. Well,